some great search on the DigiKey site. So, Ladyda, what are you going to talk about this week on your desk? Today I'm going to talk about the lowly but important 10K through-hole resistor because I was thinking about when we started Adafruit, or I started Adafruit, and we were selling kits. And um, these kits were through-hole kits because I didn't have a pick in place. And so, you know, I'd sell a Minty Boost kit or a Mini Pov kit, and it would come with a bunch of components, including the circuit board, chips, resistors, and capacitors. And so I had to source a lot of resistors um, and get them inexpensively enough that I could make these kits and, and start Adafruit. So um, I remember at the time, you know, I had to move from just picking up resistors at the local radio shack to like, well, how do I buy a thousand of these? And, uh, you know, even then, searching online or searching in a catalog for these parts was not easy. Sometimes it's actually harder to find the most common parts. It's a common, you know, request people have is they say, all I want is a bunch of resistors, but there's just too many options. It's like, I'm not, I just want something simple and common. Uh, and so I thought we'd kind of maybe do a throwback episode to, to Le Resistor. All right. How's that sound? Yeah. Sounds great. Well, let me show it on the overhead so people know what I'm talking about because this is pretty small. So uh, this is your, your common you know, through-hole resistor. It's 5%. It's got a gold band. Um, you're not really going to see through-hole resistors are usually not going to be 0.1%, and they're not going to be 10%. The 10%, uh, we don't really make those anymore because we can make resistors at at least 5% or better. 1% are fairly common. Um, but I happen to like the 5% because I, I have the color codes memorized. So I look at this and I'm like, oh, brown, black, orange, I know it's 10K or, you know, uh, yellow, purple, red, I know it's 4.7K. Um, here's like a little bag of like, uh, you know, resistors that came in, in a kit with, uh, I think these are 5.1s. Yeah, 5.1K. And um, you get five of them. But yeah, let's, let's say you need a couple thousand of these resistors because you're doing a kit or you're doing an assembly. Um, that's where, you know, we sell resistors, but if you want to buy a thousand, I'll tell people, you don't want to buy them from Adafruit at 25 parts per bag. Um, you want to get them from DigiKey because you can get them for like a quarter of a cent a piece. So um, let's go to the computer and we'll, we'll start this search. And I'll show you some tips and tricks. It's now time for the great search at DigiKey. This is where Lady Ada goes to the DigiKey site. That's and right. And starts doing some great searching. That was in some nice graphics that we got there. Yeah, this this is approved. And yes. we wanted to make sure that we show this is the search engine that a lot of people email and say, hey Lady Ada, I'm learning engineering, but I, what I really need to learn is how to search and find the parts I'm looking for. Yeah, this and is if, what we do. if you're an engineer, like, you know, when you're in school, they give you, like, a kit with all these resistors, but, again, eventually you need a bunch. Um, so let's just search for a resistor. Why not? And you'll see there's, a, there's you know... A million results. There's, there's like, <laughs> there's literally 1.2 million... A million results. Results. Um, right. You got to... You got to... I got to pare that down. A little less. A little less. Um, but I want to show the different kinds. So... This is interesting. So um, starting from, well, we're going to ignore these. These are not related, but they're specialized resistors. These might be like, you know, ultra high temperature or um, ultra large or ultra small resistors. Unlikely you'll look at those. Adjustable power resistors. These are also not commonly used by engineers unless you're doing a, you know, a power project. You need a resistor that can, say, go from 1 ohm to 5 ohms and is like a, a powerful resistor. It's basically a, a potentiometer but it's, or a rheostat, but it's very large. There's the rotary potentiometers and rheostats. That's, that's the common uh, twisty knob potentiometers you're probably familiar with. I might cover these some other time, but um, you, know, you can see a, a large range of different potentiometers from you know, the low-cost panel mount to um, through a hole type, and they can get pretty expensive, like 10 turn or 25 turn resistors. Uh, some of these are, are 5 watt potentiometers. Um, there's the trimmer pots. So these are little surface mount pick in place potentiometers, usually used with a small screwdriver to adjust 
uh, a little bit of gain or an offset for an op amp, say, or an analog circuit. Um, sometimes we use these to like, you know, if you want to adjust the amplitude of a amplifier or something, and you're not going to be adjusting it a lot. These are a little sensitive, so you don't, you don't want to twist them tons. And then we're going to get to um, the actual resistors. Because the pentiometers, yeah, they're technically resistors, but they're really pentiometers. Resistor kits, and I have one here. Um, these are kind of like a cool idea. Um, these resistor kits, they'll come with like 20 to 100 different values, and they'll give you like 10 to 50 a piece. And um, it's not a bad idea to have one of these because... Oftentimes, yes, you know, you want, you have the exact value, 10K or 20K, but then once in a while you're like, shoot, I really need to like tweak this feedback resistor or this gain and I, and a potentiometer is, is too rough. I want a closer value. So these kits can be a nice, um, alternative. So, you know, they come usually in books or packs. Um, there's a, there's through hole type. So let me see if they have uh, wire wound carbon film. So carbon film is what's usually referred to as the the you know the rounded resistors. So yeah, you can get 156 different values, um, five pieces you know of half watt resistors for about 40 bucks. So um, you know Yagio has a kit and. Uh, Ooh, this looks like fun. This is a big kit. These are like a hundred per. That's kind of nice. So um, I do, you know, in addition to getting whatever kits you need, um, having a resistor kit, I have one and it has come in very handy. Okay. So, um, but what we're really looking for is through hole resistors. Chassis mount resistors, usually that's power resistors, very big resistors for, uh, you know, RF or power electronics. So here we still have half a million different options. So remember we want the 10K resistors. So let's start the way I always start with um, active. Most of them are active. And something that's kind of neat here is that um, you can, you can like kind of go through here and, and pick out the values. You can also do a range. Like maybe you're like, oh, I want something between nine and 12 kilo ohms. So that's milli ohms, ohms, kilo ohms, mega ohms, and giga ohms. But I want kilo ohms. So then I, I can have a, you know, it's, it's a little easier to scroll through because I'm only selecting from within the values that are close enough. One reason why you might want to do a range, for example, I was looking for like a 400, I did some calculation for a feedback resistor for an uh, amplifier, and I needed 450 kilo ohms. Well, 450 kilo ohms is, does not exist. Not every resistor value exists because the 5% resistor values um, go up by, you know, 5%. There's 5% between each one. And so there's going to be values in between that don't exist. That's why you'll never see like an 8.9 kilo ohm 5% resistor. Um, you'll find, you know, 4.7K, 5.1K, 5.6K. But the values in between you're not going to find. So that's why you might want to kind of get a range and then pick your tolerance. Now, um, for through-hole resistors, again, you're going to see, you can get 0.1%, you know, you get much like 0.001%, although I don't know how expensive that could possibly be. But the more, the more, uh, the, sorry, the lower the tolerance, I mean, the more precise the value is, closer, as close as possible to the value you're purchasing, you're going to pay more because they have to make all these resistors and they pick out the ones that are within that tolerance and not all of them are gonna make it. So um, that means that you kinda of want to go with the loosest tolerance you're willing to live with. In this case, we're talking about, you know, the simple 10K resistor, standard pull-up. I'm very happy with 5%. I will note, these are not in numerical order, so watch out. These are, this goes from 0 0.01, but then it goes 1, 10 to 23. So just watch out for that. So standard 5%. Um, they come in a couple different packagings. Um, I will go with bulk packaging, which means uh, loose, not on tape. Um, some people like tape if you're you know, cutting a, a strip of um, resistors, but the bulk ones just means you can pick them out of the box very easily. So let's get bulk. 
And then I'm going to actually say, okay, 10 kilo ohms. And yeah, see, not every value is available here. You'll see that it jumps up, you know, from 10 to basically 11. There's nothing in between for 5% values. And then you can choose the comp composition. Um, metal film is usually more precise. They have different thermal properties. At, at this point, what you're going to be looking at is um, temperature coefficient. That is how much the resistance changes over temperature. Um, everything is a temperature sensor, just some are better temperature sensors than others. And um, the size and dimensions. But let's start looking at the photos to get a sense of what we have to choose here. So one thing to watch out for is these are all obviously renderings. This is not a photograph of an actual resistor. Um, compared to other great searches where there was actually usually a photo or um, well, often there was a photo of the actual object. This is a rendering. So you have to look at the dimensions and the wattage to get a sense of how big it is. Now, if you want a very tiny resistor, it's going to be lower wattage. Can't absor absorb as much heat and, uh, uh, sorry, emit as much heat to um, stay within the, the wattage range because it's a smaller. The bigger it is, the more heat it can absorb and emit. Um, in this case, most through-hole resistors are quarter watt. Uh, when you're dealing with large values like 10K, you're probably not going to need anything larger than that. Now you might be wondering, well, if it really doesn't matter, why don't I go down to uh, eighth watt or, or smaller? And I'll tell you why is sometimes they're actually hard to read the values because the body of the resistor is so small. So let's go to power wattage, and I'm going to pick one quarter watt. Maybe one day we'll do a power resistor search, and uh, in which case we'll go, go with a higher wattage. And then, uh, I mean, we can do in stock or normally stocking. So let's do uh, in stock. And this is, this is the resistor. And this is, I'm not surprising, the Yagia resistors are, are what I've purchased a lot of. 10 kilo ohm, one quarter watt, 5% axial. Looks like this, and they've got a ton in stock. Um, you can also get these in tape and box and tape and reel. Again, those come on, on brown tape so you can cut strips off. But for most purposes, um, this is what most people want. Okay, and now I'm going to go for a super bonus round, special Lady Ada trick. So you just found your 10 kilo ohm resistor and you're like, okay, that took me like a minute or two. But now you need like a 2.2K resistor as well. Now you're going to start your search all over again? Not necessarily, because if you look at the DigiKey part number, it has the value within it, 10K, uh. Q, B, K, and D. So my trick would be I don't actually search for it over and over again because, there's, again, there's a million things to have to pare down. Instead, put in the part number, 10K, and then you can adjust this. So let's say I want 47K. Type in 47 instead of 10K, hit return, and boom, you're there. Just, I just saved you like two minutes. That could be a valuable two minutes. You never know what, what, what you might have done in those two minutes. Ditto, let's say you want, uh, again, 2.2K. In this case, I believe it's 2K2. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's 2.2K. Yeah. You search for 2.2K. Q, B, K, and, you know, again, 85,000 stock, lots available. And this is what I would do when I was making kits is I would just type in um, the value for each one, and then it would pop up, and then I would just order any quantity. Another thing you'll notice, they, they'll sell you one resistor, but you're not going to get good pricing at one. One resistor is going to be 10 cents a piece, which is pretty expensive. However, if you're willing to pick up, you know, like at least a hundred, it'll get down to, you know, two cents or three cents. So you can pick up like a thousand resistors for 11 bucks or 250 resistors for five bucks. Um, and that's really great if you're again doing kits and you want to have good pricing. If you're picking up a tape and reel, which is, you know, this on a reel, the pricing is really low because they're like, oh, we're just gonna give you a box. It's less than a cent. You have to buy 5,000, but it's less than a cent. So 
keep that in mind if you're if you have to buy a quantity it might be worth it just to get a full box instead of individual ones and counting them out and that is my great search for today all right hope you learned a lot